comes to teenage scientists, this next guest can't be beat. That's spelled B-E-E-T. Aren't jokes you have to spell to explain fun? Beats, Nabil has more. Remember the pH scale from chemistry class? You know, acidic things like stomach acid have a low pH, basic or alkaline things like soap or bleach will have a high pH, and water is about in the middle with a neutral pH of seven? Well, understanding that basic chemistry has led a 17-year-old high school student to invent medical sutures that change color if a wound is infected. Her name is Deja Taylor, and her invention even won her a $25,000 award from the Society of Science. This project is very important to me because it just showcases all of the things that I'm passionate about, like equity, getting resources to places that need them. And my project does all of that in just one piece of thread, one suture. Today, Deja is gonna tell us what inspired her to make these color-changing stitches and how this breakthrough is powered by beets. Yes, I'm talking beets the vegetable. Hi, Deja. Hi, Nabil. How's it going? How's Iowa? Pretty good, still flat. <laughs> so word on the street is you've invented some pretty cool stuff using beets. Tell me about it. I read an article called Smart Sutures where they were using this really fancy technology to only monitor like the basic principles of wound healing. And I thought to myself, the people who really need it won't be able to afford it. So I set out to create a cost-effective color-changing suture that can detect infection. It all has to do with pH. Our skin is naturally acidic, having a pH of five. But when our wounds are infected, that pH increases to eight or higher. The research I found is that beets change color at the pH of nine, indicating an infection. So there are tons of natural indicators. You have beets, cherries, blueberries, the list goes on and on. To show why beets were the perfect choice for her stitches, Deja has sent me everything I need for us to have a good old science showdown. Beets versus cabbage. We are going to test the color changes of our beet natural indicator and our cabbage natural indicator. To run this test, we set up two rows of plastic cups, one for each indicator. On the left, the acid, lemon juice. In the middle, neutral water. And on the right side, a basic or alkaline baking soda solution. First up, we'll test how the cabbage liquid reacts to an acid. It's definitely changing color. What does yours look like? Is it a beautiful pink? Next, we add the cabbage juice to the neutral water. Mine looks just like this vial of cabbage juice here. Finally, we add the cabbage juice to the basic baking soda solution. Boom. Oh. It's like a lovely teal. As you can see, our cabbage juice reacted with a wide array of colors. Now it's time to do the same test with our beet juice, starting again with the acid. Into the lemon juice we go. This indicates a healthy wound, so it really shouldn't change color. Let's try the water solution. Swirl that mixture around a little bit. That looks pretty much the same. Down to the final moment, the baking soda solution. The stakes have never been higher. Now remember, this is a subtle color change. Swirl it around, and this beet juice gets really, really dark. The cabbage shows us like a much bigger color change. So why did you decide to use beet? If a patient is sutured with sutures that were dyed in cabbage juice, then they may, may get really freaked out if their sutures turn pink. And then they may get incredibly freaked out if it goes from pink to green. So I decided to just stick with the one color change that I needed, and that was found in the beets. As you can see here, after 60 hours have lapsed, the stitches made of beets have clearly changed color. As soon as I license them, I will be able to ship these to developing countries and get them into use. Not only have you made this groundbreaking technology, you've made a conscious effort to make these things more accessible to people who need them the most, and I think that's awesome. It is time for me to beat it. <laughs> so I gotta, I gotta go. Later. <laughs> Bye, Deja. <laughs>